Hello, I'm jumping on here to talk about ending knee pain. Yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> you do not have to live with knee pain. No, <laughs> I thought I did. I had knee pain in my left knee for years and would do my yoga practices with a bit of a grimace on my face and I had to be a little careful about how far I went into them because of my left knee and it was the inside of my knee and I like tried a lot of stuff yogically and um, couldn't really resolve it but then quite by accident or not right everything lines up perfectly I was working with a um, 90 year old student who her um, whole objective was to not die in the toilet. So I was teaching her squats and I started doing them with her and my knee pain went away. And so I'm like a big advocate for doing a squat practice. In fact, I do it every day. I never miss. I do 50 squats every day. And the reason people don't do it is because they have knee pain and they think it's going to hurt their knees. But you don't do it to the point where it hurts your knees. You only go as far as you can to keep your knees happy. So we're going to do that in a moment. But let's talk about what's behind knee pain. So knees are um, to our body are preteen years. They signify because the root is our childhood, the legs. <laughs> And the knees are preteen, and it's a time of a lot of instability. And this is a time when we were really taught whether we would, because our emotions were coming up because of hormones, able to share our emotions freely within our family systems or we had to shut down. So most knee pain is about you needing or being asked to share emotionally either right knee pain out in the outer world left knee pain just within yourself. So think about that as you do your squats. So let's do some. All right. So like I said, you don't go into knee pain. You only do what you can do. You only go as far down as you can, keeping your knees happy. Now, some of the structure is, is we want our feet to be going the same direction down the road. I don't want you duck footing at all in squats. I see people duck footing all the time in squats. Then they weight lift like that. I'm like, oh my God, that's a way to get knee pain. Don't do it. Your feet need to be going parallel down the road and the same direction. So make sure your feet are going the same direction down the road. Now, how far apart your, your feet are going to be varies. If you do not do squats, Take your feet more outer hip width apart. That'll give you just a little bit more space um, and it should be easier for you. If you do some squatting and you know, you can bring your feet more inner hip width apart. And that's what I like to do, more inner hip width apart. So you just decide more outer hip width apart or more inner hip width apart. Then the structure of our body is, our tail goes straight down straight down like it's a root growing deep into the earth. Then our ribs snap in and down. It's like my rib cage is tied or snapped down into my pelvic rim. Then I roll my inner arms out, opening my heart. Then I've engaged core. So as I do my squats, I don't stick my booty out and my ribs flare out. If I do, then I'm going to hurt my lower back and it doesn't help my knees either. It kind of takes me off balance <laughs> and um, I don't need that for my knee pain. So I'm gonna kind of do them a little bit sideways so you can see this. So my feet are inner hip width apart. You can take yours more outer hip width apart. They're going the same direction down the road. I'm pushing into the outer edge of my heels. Now, as I come down, I'm bringing my tail down, my ribs in and down. I'm rolling my inner arms out. I can bring my hands in a prayer position if that helps me, helps me to kind of squeeze my palms together. And then I come back up. And I exhale down and make sure I don't stick my butt out, keep my ribs in, and my knees don't hurt. And then I inhale up. So you just decide. You could just go this far and come back up. And that's okay in the beginning. And also, if you're here doing it and you're like, oh my gosh, my knees hurt, just take your feet a little wider apart and try it there. So you decide. 
Now, the more that you do it, the more you can learn to come up and down without sticking your booty out and keeping your ribs coming in towards your body and down towards your pelvic rim. And I really roll my shoulders down and back. And I just do as many as I can. In the beginning, I would do about 10. I don't know how many I'm doing right now. Six, maybe. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah. So that makes 60 for me for the day. I've already done my others. Now, if you do this and it's still hurting knees, you can use a wall. So you just go to the wall and put my sacrum into it. Put my ribs in toward my body and down toward my pelvic ball. Roll my inner arms out. And I can just go down a little bit and then up. And I determine how far apart my feet need to be. And I make sure that my feet are parallel. So I just kind of lean against the wall. It might help those knees a little bit. But you can just do little. Just do little in the beginning. You're going to get stronger in your quads. And it's going to get easier and easier for your knees to do the squats. Trust me, because I had knee pain. And I don't have any now. So, in the Ageless Movement Practices this week, I also give you a whole lot of ball rolling in the specific muscles that need to let go for the knees to be happy. And then a couple of other <laughs> happy knee poses and try them. I think that your knees will be super happy. Knees are the weakest joint in the body. They represent preteen, for goodness sake. <laughs> we need to have a lot of love and compassion for the knees, for the time that we went through as a preteen. And if you weren't allowed <laughs> to feel your feelings, maybe it's time for you to start working on that. <laughs> All right, I hope that helps you enjoy this week's ageless movement practice your knees will feel so much better bye